Passengers will begin paying higher bus fares as of Monday, September 15th. That's the word from the Transport Ministry, who last week met with the National Council on Public Transport to finalize the new rates. Many bus drivers um, would be charging the new fares coming from that, from that date. Um, the fares that are applicable are only the fares that have been published. And so we are working with the National Council today to ensure that all minibus drivers have a copy of the applicable fares for their route. The new fares do not apply to all routes. There is also a schedule to determine who gets charged and at what time. P.S. in the Transport Ministry, Alison Jean, says the new rates are law, not a suggestion. And that schedule has four elements. The fares for adults, the fares for secondary school students in school uniform, those for primary school students and students and persons and um, children who are below 10 years, as well as nighttime fares. And the nighttime fares come into operation from 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. Announcements of the increase comes as bus drivers were expressing deep agitation. They wanted the ministry to deliver on its word to implement the increase by Monday. Anthony Marius, the PRO of the Grand Rivier Minibus Association, was one of the anxious public bus operators. Monday morning, we're ready for the increase. Rain, rain or sun, we're ready for the increase on Monday morning. The PRO of the National Council was also anxious that the new fares take effect on Monday. Lena Sinclair was not optimistic drivers would cooperate with the delay in implementation. Thursday before last, we had a meeting with the, the government officials, the Road Transport Board, and they promised that the fares would have been on the 15th of September, that is Monday. Alison Jean says customers need to be vigilant to ensure they are charged the correct fares. These fares are expected to be displayed on every public bus. Jean says drivers who charge more than the stipulated price for their service will be liable for prosecution. Carmi Joseph, HTS News, Channel 4.